Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the amount of shrinkage that happens during pre-washing. Let's get into the video. If you haven't already watched my haul video where I showed you getting all these fabrics, go ahead and check that out. I'll have it linked down below. If you've already watched that video, then you'll remember that I got different three and six yard cuts of cotton flannel to make reusable paper towels. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, I've got videos on how to make reusable towels and what they are down below. Uh, and then what I did is I surged them and pre-washed. Pre-washing is when you wash all your fabric before you do anything with it. This helps you get any shrinkage out, any bleeding, or any uh, chemicals that may be in the fabric. It's a great idea. I have videos for that as well, so I'll have those linked down below. And I talked about briefly in the last video that different fabrics will shrink at different rates. So I have them separated in two different piles, the three yard cuts and the six yard cuts. And I wanna show you how different the pieces that are left over. So all the three yard cuts, I cut them. Uh, so I surged, washed, ironed, and cut them into 12 inch strips um, so that I could get uh, four sets of towels out of the three yards and eight sets out of the six yards. So the piece that's left over I had cut the same amount out of the fabric, if that that's what I'm trying to say. The same amount of fabric has been cut out of each of the yardages, but there's different amounts left over because of shrinkage. So let me show you what we're talking about. These fabrics up here are from the three yard cuts. So it seems like there's three different categories. These guys up here, uh, so these are the three yard cuts and these are the six yard cuts, which I can't even fit in the whole frame. Some of these are so long, but let me measure out and tell you how much is left of each. So there's about three categories within the three yards. So this stack here of the shortest pieces, they are less than eight inches, the piece remaining. The second set of cuts that are a little larger, these ones are about 10 inches. And it seems about even the amount that shrunk like that. And then the biggest pieces left over from the three yard cuts are almost 12 inches. So out of all of the three yard cuts, I could not get one more panel. So if I wanted to do instead of a set of eight matching and do a set of four and four, I can't do that with any of the um, three yard cuts. I can only get four sets of towels. Now with the six yard cuts, it's a different story. So I, like I said, I only did um, eight sets. And also keep in mind that since I did it on a fold, some of these pieces, if you can tell here, are not the same. See how these are not lining up? It's because I cut them while the end piece was folded like this, which sometimes causes tension, but it's worth it for efficiency of cutting so much fabric. I'll show you in a second how big the stack is of fabric that I've cut. So anyways, you can see this is a much more gradual decline here of the amount of fabric left over with the biggest piece coming in at 28 inches so I could get a whole nother set out of this red and the smallest one being the cats which is less than eight inches and here is the stack of fabrics that are cut into 12 inch cuts these stacks are huge this is my arm versus this stack it's humongous so they're not done but this is the cuts that I've got if you would like to purchase any reusable towels, please check out my Etsy shop link down below. A set of 16 is available for $8. All of the inventory that is available, if you scroll to the second picture, it'll show you all the patterns that are available right now. Uh, you can put them on a roll or you can keep them in a basket. I have a whole video talking about how to use them and wash them and care instructions. So go ahead and check that out. Now that you've seen the difference of fabric left over between the three yards and the six yard cuts, which would I prefer to get in the future, three yards or six yards? I don't know, I'm still torn. So the three yard cuts are much easier to manage when washing and drying and ironing and cutting. It's just so sim much simpler. Yet the fabric that's left over, I can do much less with it. The th six yard cuts, it's really nice that there's a possibility with one of them how I can get a whole nother set out of it just based on shrinkage. So I really like how the six yard cuts, I can get so much extra at the end. However, they were very hard to manage. When I was doing the washing, so I did wash on a quick cycle 15 minutes and then i did drying um 30 minutes and then i so I, each piece before i put it in the dryer i opened it all the way and threw each piece in individually and by the way it took me five loads of laundry to have to do this and in, in an hour dry time 
at a half an hour, I had to go in, pull every single piece of fabric out because they were all knotted up inside of each other, which doesn't normally happen as much with three yard cuts, but the six yard cuts got so tangled up inside of each other, which made them even more wrinkly, which took even longer to iron. So I definitely prefer the three yard cuts. However, it is nice to be able to have multiple sets out of the six yard cuts. So far, how much time I've spent uh, working on this fabric. So it took me an hour to serge. It took me seven hours to do the washing because like I said, it was five loads and an hour of dry time. And then it took me three hours to iron and three hours to do the cutting that you see. Now that being said, it's not like I spent seven hours only ironing. Once I had the first load out of the dryer, I started ironing. So I was doing steps simultaneously or when some of the uh, wash and when some of the loads were in the washer, I was surging. So do the steps in um so if you are efficient and you do different steps at the same time it'll definitely help you with your overall time so i've spent 15 hours doing this so far but it's not 15 hours total i probably spent like 10 hours because different things happen at the same time what's left to do is i need to iron the pieces that are cut one more time some of them are a little wrinkly and then cut them to the exact size that they need to be surge them up and package them. So I don't know how much longer that's going to take me. I'm going to guesstimate about five more hours of work time. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get them done within the next month. Uh, we'll see. I'll give you an update video once I have more progress on them. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day.